Okay, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how do you start getting ready to pass the GED um, test, specifically the math section on a GED. So my name is John. I am the founder and creator of GEDMathLessons.com. I'll talk to you a little bit more about uh, this in a second, but this video is going to be dedicated to those that you know have as a goal for them to pass the GED, but they're kind of held up on the math section. And the statistics on the GED, uh, not surprisingly, is that most people, if they um, can't pass a GED, it's because of the math section. I'll just say it that way. Math is the most difficult part, generally speaking, for, for those folks taking a GED. And this is especially true after the changes in 2014. People can debate this one way or another, but I can tell you, as a math teacher, and I taught from sixth grade to college, that you really do need to know your math in order to pass this <laughs> the GED exam these days. And this also goes for the high set and task exam exams, if you're familiar with those as well. So there's no kind of cheating the system, you know, if you will. You can take the test and kind of gamble and hope that you make it. And some people may want to try that approach and say, well, I'll just keep taking it you know, all, you know, as much as I can until I get lucky enough to get a minimal score. And I suppose there are those that, you know, may get lucky and pass, but I, that's certainly not a, a, um, a strategy. So, but how do you start getting ready? Well, um, the first thing is, is that you need to already have decided you're going to take this serious because that's the first thing. Um, so number one is, are you serious about the GED, okay? You really gotta ask yourself that question. What does that mean to be serious? Are you committed? Are you gonna put in a little bit of time? Are you gonna put in whatever the time it takes? Is it gonna be a priority in your life? Well, let me just say this much. If you, if you think about it, okay, you're gonna be tested on high school math, all right? High school math, which is effectively uh, for the most part, going to be somewhere between, let's say, what you get in, in, most people would get between 9 and 10th grade, maybe a little bit of 11th grade, but let's just keep it simple. Let's say two years of math. Then that's two full years of mathematics at high school. So this is the kind of material that's going to be on this test, and maybe a little bit more. So how are you going to learn, um, let's just say, each school year is nine months, okay, um, 18 months of math education, how are you going to cram that, you know, into your brain in one week or a few days? It's really, you know, it's not realistic, right? So, but let's suppose that, hey, you did well, you know, uh, in algebra and geometry, and you think back in high school, oh, yeah, I loved math, I did well, but maybe that was 10 years ago, okay? Maybe that was 20 plus years ago. Who knows, right? It could be a long time. And I could tell you, you're not going to remember. You're going to have to spend some time refreshing. So being serious about the GED really translates into, are you going to put the time into it? So the first place to start when you're getting ready for the GED is not to pick up a study book or look at a few questions, is to really do some self-reflection, okay? And ask yourself, how you know important is this to you? Because it needs to be pretty important um, it needs to be extremely important to you personally so you can put in the respective effort in, in order to pass the test. Okay, and we're, we're going to be talking about the math section here because, you know, it's going to be um, a process. You're going to have to learn math, okay, and a considerable amount, but not an impossible amount. And let me just stress that. It is not impossible. On this site, I get um, testimonials every day, people saying, hey, thank you so much. I passed the, my exam, et cetera, from people that are young, from people that are in their 60s and 70s. It's kind of crazy. When I, I really have an opportunity to kind of see a, the whole a big broad spectrum of people that are taking a test. So it's definitely not impossible um, to pass this exam. But these are also people, I can tell, that reach out to me that have uh, had the respective effort. They were committed and they were persistent and disciplined. So where do you start? You start mentally. Okay. You get serious about this. Okay. Now, specifically when it comes to math, the second thing is you need a good plan. All right. So to teach yourself math, to refresh yourself in math, 
you shouldn't be kind of thinking, well, what do I need to know? Well, how could you be in a position to answer that question unless you're an actual math teacher? It's something against you personally. Um, you know, it's just a subject that you need some expertise in. So you need a good plan. That, therefore, you're going to need some help. Okay. Now, who should be helping you? It should be your buddy that took the GED five times and is going to tell you it's impossible. Don't do that. Do that. You got to be careful who you listen to about this. Okay. When I'm talking about who do you get help from, look for legitimate sources of, um, of help. And that could be your local adult education center, maybe people like myself, you know, something who has a real positive track record to help you formulate a plan. Now, your plan could very well be different than another person. Um, why, and why is that? It's just common sense, right? Here's you, you know, just a little stick figure. Here's somebody else. This person could have, you know, been out of school three years and did super well in math, you know, is good in math. Okay. You might have been out of school 30 years. All right. And did were in poor in math. Okay. At least that's what you think. So where you got your starting points are going to be different. Okay. But it's no different than being like on a rung on a ladder. Okay. Both of you, irrespective of where you're going, need to be at this level to pass the GED. Okay. You need to be at this level. Maybe this person is on this rung and maybe you are down here. Okay. However, you could still get to the same place. It just might take this person a quicker amount of time versus you. Okay. But here's the thing. Don't compare yourself to anyone else and don't try to formulate a plan from people that really don't, you know, uh, know how to help you. Okay. You got to be very careful who you take advice from. Okay. Now, the third thing, I'm going to get into kind of the specifics of math now, is you really want to be learning from a teacher, okay? And when we're talking about math, you really want to learn from a math teacher. Now, in some of your uh, adult education centers and GD classes, local classes, there's a lot of folks that teach basic fundamental math that may not be an, um, an official certified math teacher, and that's okay. As long as they have good teaching skills, that's the key that you, you, need to, uh, you need to seek out. You need to find a teacher that you actually understand. So a good teacher is a relative term. It's a good, a good teacher is, you know, one person that might understand this particular teacher, but you may not understand them, okay? So you need to find a teacher that you understand who is in, has very, very strong uh, math education background and experience. So where do you find such people? Well, again, look at your local resources, um, local school district, adult education center. But uh, I'm going to leave you with my link. Um, I, I have a um, free math course, basic math course. It's not designed to teach you 100% of everything for the GED, but it's going to get you a significant amount of what's going to be on the GED, okay? And if you can master those core skills, really master everything that's on my site, then you're going to be in good shape to pass, okay? And then you could continue on and building your education. But anyways, I'll leave you that link here in a second. So we're talking about, again, where do you start? Let's just kind of quickly review where we're at so far, so far okay? One, you got to get serious, okay? You're going to put in the time because it takes time and practice and effort to learn math, okay? You're learning skill sets. Second thing is you need to get a plan together. Now, what kind of plan? Well, a study plan, okay? A time management plan. You need to know, hey, um, what materials are going to be studying from, et cetera. So you got to generate a plan. Don't just wing it. And the third thing is when you're actually learning mathematics, try to learn from a teacher. And you can have kind of a hybrid approach as well. You could use my program, for example, online, plus go to a local uh, adult center. That's a good plan. Or if you're a little bit more independent and don't have the time to, you know, um, actually drive someplace, you could just go with my course or other people's courses. Tons of resources out there. But you got to be careful. Even like, let's say, on YouTube or Google, you can find tons of, of uh, help, tons of videos and everything else. You got to be careful on who you're listening to, Okay. Uh, and you want to go with someone with a track record. So I, 
I, I feel very strongly about my site uh, because it does have a strong track record, and I know what I'm doing when it comes to teaching math because that's what I've been doing for many, many years, and that's my passion. So anyways, a lot of other things that you need to do to, to pass the GED, but you want to be focused on just doing one thing at a time, okay? One thing at a time. Take one step, right? And it's kind of like the... Uh, deal of dominoes. There's a great book, if you're interested, it's called The One Thing. And they talk about dominoes here. I'm going to kind of just let's think of these as dominoes here. Okay. And you've probably all seen, hey, you can line up dominoes and and you can knock down, well, the dominoes would be like this, right? You can knock down this domino and all these dominoes fall. Well, a domino can knock down another domino that's 50% bigger than it. Okay, so this little this domino here can knock down this bigger domino. There's power in momentum. And what I'm trying to say is once you get serious, okay, that's gonna like boom help you really focus to get yourself a plan, okay? And that plan is going to help you find a great teacher. And that teacher is gonna know exactly how to teach you the skills you're going to need for the GED, and that's going to just knock over your goal, which is to pass a GED. There's momentum, there's power, if you line up the right things to do for your goal, okay? So I'm telling you right now, it's not impossible, and if you are super focused, you can really compress the time it takes in order to pass the GED, okay? And I'm very passionate about this because it's critically important uh, uh, in today's society, especially in uh, today's economy, that you do have your GED or the equivalent, the high set or task or um, high school diploma. Okay, so I'm going to leave you with um, some information here. So one, if you want to uh, try out my free course, you can go to gedmathlessons.com. I'll leave the link in the description of this video. And if you like what I do, I do a ton of this stuff on YouTube. Please subscribe. Let me give you a thumbs up and let me uh, comment on how you're doing. And uh, I try to read as many comments as possible so I can kind of focus more of my videos on that. So I do a lot of stuff on YouTube. I teach a lot of uh, math, but I also like to give general advice because oftentimes it's the general advice is, is just as important, kind of organize your mentality, uh, your kind of your attack plan, so you can, you know, have the most efficient um, uh, plan to actually achieve your goal. So thanks for watching, and I wish you all the best.